Also, Piper not running on any of those banners so far is an absolute fucking nightmare because, like, it feels so unfair. If you're unlucky like me, Piper is the only character, the only A rank agent I still don't have. Subscribe, please! Hello, YouTube! Today I'm coming to you because I want to quickly go over... Uh, I didn't realize that they posted it last time when I did a react to the actual live stream, but we do know what the banners are going to be for the new characters. So, uh, there they are. So, as you can see here, we are getting the new partner archives, blah, 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 blah. And here we see the phases search, signal search events. So this is the phase one, and this is obviously the phase two. So if you look here, we can see that Chinyi, which is gonna be a stun electric um, police member, right? She's a, a NAPS, N-A-P-S, uh, N E P S sorry, NAPS. So it's new everyday police something. I don't know. Anyway, so she is gonna be the rank up character, the rate up character on the first banner, first phase of 1.1. So essentially it's gonna be coming live in about like a week, uh, if not less, I don't remember exactly. And we can see that the A rank characters coming up with her are gonna be Billy and Corin. And I think the problem we have here is that, first of all, Shinyi, absolutely fantastic character, she's gonna be absolutely great. She's gonna be a clear upgrade to MB. And of course, we're getting a lot of, uh, well, you know, police characters. So she is definitely going to be very useful for you guys if you like this character. If you like Zhu Yuan, she's going to be perfect for her. Um, and obviously in the future, we might get some new addition that she'll be working for. Um, she, a lot of people don't really like MB because they feel like she takes a lot of field time or she's a little bit clunky. Her... Her sequence of attack into her EX skill is a bit slow. But Shinyi, from what we've seen, her animations are very snappy, very fast, and you can actually apply a lot of days very, very fast with the charge attack, and that's absolutely amazing, right? Also, her design's kind of cute, she has a ponytail, she seems to be a robot, and overall, she is going to be great. Now, the problem we have here is that they're baiting us with Shinyi, who's obviously going to be a fantastic character, with absolutely terrible a ring characters. We are tying her with two physical DPS. Billy being the worst DPS in the game currently. He's very comfy to play. He has decent AoE. But in terms of damage, he is just not there. So he trades good DPS for comfort. And some people love him. He has a great design. He has a friend personality. And it's kind of cool to play. But yeah, if you try to optimize your DPS, that's he's not him, unfortunately. It is what it is. That said... He's on this banner. Corinne also on this banner. And the thing that we have here is that obviously uh, Shinyi herself doesn't have real like combo here. She's electric, they're both physical, so there's no like potential build up there. And um, they're obviously from different squad. She's from the, the maid squad, he's from the cunning hares, and she's from the police, so there's nothing like going on here, which is a bit unfortunate, obviously. That said, like, if you consider, like, the police force, we don't really have any four-star characters in there yet. We have Seth, who is not coming on this banner. And then, that's pretty much it, right? Um, Zhu Yan, obviously, is a five-star character, so she wouldn't be here. Uh, but yeah, it would have been better if we had, like, maybe if Anton was here, at least we would have, like, the Anton as a DPS, and here she could, like, build up some of that uh, anomaly. Uh, but we don't really have that, and those characters are just not them. Corinne is pretty good. Um, she's okay. She's not awesome. This just like this just better, right? Uh, we have Nekomata, who's better, obviously. Uh, Piper is gonna be better if you want to do like some um, physical anomaly when it comes to assault damage, right? And uh, obviously, we are getting Jane Doe, who's gonna be a physical anomaly character, who's probably gonna be better even more so. So this four stars those a rank agents is just are a little bit underwhelming for such a banner and obviously we get the s rank and their uh, the four stars uh, signature weapon so this feels a bit bad because it really feels like oh okay here one have a busted characters that you want to pull for and you are just gonna get punished for pulling for her by getting like characters that are just a bit subpar 
Now, for phase two, we have Jane Doe. Jane Doe, in my opinion, is a bit more of a wild card in the sense that technically, officially, we don't know what uh, Squatch is in. So, big mystery. We'll find out when the, when the patch goes live. And um, she's anomaly physical. Now, what's really interesting, she plays really fast. Her, her damage is very, very fast. So, she's going to be able to build up a lot of anomaly pretty quickly. So, she might be an upgrade to uh, Piper. Like, uh, Piper is a pretty good character. Also, Piper not running on any of those banners so far is an absolute fucking nightmare because, like, it feels so unfair. If you're unlucky like me, Piper is the only character, the only A rank agent I still don't have. But Jane is probably gonna be a better version of her. I feel like she could probably also power creep Nekomata to some extent. Nekomata is actually a attack character, right? She's a, a main DPS that's supposed to be built with crit, etc. But she, her number of attack is so high, she could actually fit kind of in the anomaly niche. But I think Jane is just gonna be better. On top of it, the thing with Jane is that obviously anomaly game style is kind of different. It's like when you, if you play Star Rail, it is the basic crit DPS and then there's the dot DPS. And this is essentially the dot play style. So you don't need to necessarily build crit because anomaly doesn't crit. So you just want to have a lot of attack, a lot of build up, a lot of anomaly mastery. And that's how you deal a lot of your damage, obviously. So for now, Jesus Christ, my brain is melting. That's because I don't have my meds. So for now, the problem is that we don't know what Squatch is part of. So all we can say is that she's Anomaly. So uh, she might get a buff from being paired with another Anomaly. Or she might get a buff from being paired with another physical character, right? Um, so in terms of Anomaly... She could be paired with someone like Grace, for example. Uh, in the case with Anomaly teams, you need two different elements. So Grace is very good if you have her as a permanent character, because that way you have an anomaly that can be built. You can build the electric anomaly and the physical anomaly, and then you can create some disorder effect with the two. And Grace builds anomaly incredibly fast, so those two could be very, very strong together. Essentially, any team where Piper works, Jane is going to work better, at least on paper, right? So that's very, very good. Now for a four star. So for the four stars, we have some decent option. First of all, we have Seth, which is a defender popsec uh, unit. So he's from Neps, I believe. Popsec is Neps, right? I, I think so. Um, and he's an electric defender. So what's interesting here is that why is Seth not on phase one? Because faced on Seth on phase one, Jesus Christ, would be an electric defender from Neps. So he would both work with Ching Yi in terms of uh, faction and in terms of elements without um, taking the slot of stun, right? So he would work perfectly for her. Now, if he's in phase two, does that mean that Jane is also from Neps? He's from Neps, that means that he will have some synergy with her, right? That's possible. Maybe he could work as a support, at least in terms of faction. Otherwise, I don't really know. And then we have MB. And the thing with MB is that if you intend to skip Shinyi, and if you only have one stun currently in the game, like if you only have either Koleda, or if you have either uh, Koleda or Lycan, and you want to skip Shinyi to get Jane, then MB is actually a pretty good pickup here. So I think this banner is actually very good. We both have a free-to-play stun that you get for free. And on top of it, you get some in increased mindscapes potentially with her. And we have Seth, which is going to be the new uh, Catboy character. is going to be here for you. And he uh, might have some decent synergy with other characters like Jane, potentially. We don't know for sure. But also someone like uh, Zhu Yan, for example. It remains to be seen. I don't think he's going to be best in slot because Nicole exists, right? But very, very interesting nonetheless. I'm looking forward to see what exactly he can bring to the table. I think his baton fusing into a shield into a massive broad blade is absolutely amazing. So I think there's good potential here. Now, obviously, we've got the W engine for Jane as well as MB. But we also have the Peacekeeper. And this is the one thing that kind of gets me a little bit worried when it comes to the new a rank Peacekeeper. Or like a rank W engine. Is that, is this going to be added to the permanent pool? And I'm not sure. If you look at Genshin, if you look at Star Rails, those kind of uh, new gacha weapons, 
tend to not be added to the permanent pool. But in this game, even A rank have signature weapons. So if your A rank signature weapon is not added to the permanent pool, it does feel bad, right? Because what if you get set but you meet his you miss his weapon, and then it doesn't come back until like six months? That's gonna be absolutely fucking shit. So yeah, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully this game makes a change in that regard because all characters have a signature weapon and it's gonna be uh, better for free to play like us. Uh, but maybe not, maybe, eh, fuck you, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, between the two, the things that Shinyi is going to be, like, in, I feel like in 90% of the cases, for the majority of players, Shinyi is going to be the better pick. Because she's a known quantity. We know which team she's from, stun units are absolutely fantastic in the game, at least at the moment. Um, and she's gonna be a straight upgrade from free-to-play uh, options, right? But Jane, I think, has the most potential when it comes to getting stronger in the future, right? And on top of it, her four stars are better. So, personally, if you need a stun character, go for Shinyi. If you don't have Lycan, if you don't have Koleda, I think Shinyi is the better pick. Now, if you already have one of those, if you don't need to upgrade your MB or you don't feel like it and you'd rather have something like a different playstyle, something that's a bit more fun, you want to dip your toe into a different style and just like treat hard carry and you, you're like, hey, I don't care about stun, I just want to do some dot damage. In that case, I think Jane is going to be for you. Um, and yeah, so personally, I'm going to go for Jane because I think she's uh, she looks good. And uh, yeah, so that's my thought. Anyway, let me know what you guys are intending to pull for. Like, subscribe. If you don't, I'm going to kiss your dad. Okay, bye.